Hi guys. So I welcome you back on Jack Down Farms. So I earlier posted a similar setup like um, the setup you see behind me. This is a complete recirculating aquaculture system that can uh, either culture catfish or tilapia specifically. So um, this setup holds, can conveniently hold 2,000 catfish or tilapia from the fingerling stage to maturity. So I posted a video, a similar video, and uh, I received several comments that I should show how the system works. So this is a video just to give you a brief uh, introduction to how this system works. The system is a package. It comes with a 10 by 20 feet uh, pond with four feet height with quality material, of course, a cover net. And then the filtering system comes with the drum setup. This is the drum setup. It can also be constructed with um, uh, concrete or any um, material that we choose after feasibility study. So we decided to go with the drum system because this is a temporary setup. So this is how the system works. You know, we get to change water or we are obligated to change water in our ponds because of so many activities, the feeding practices, excess feed, excretion from fish, that tends to generate ammonia in our pond water. So what you tend to do, the reason you change water two to three days every two to three days is that there's excess death in your pond that will cause your oxygen content in your pond to deplete the only reason you change pond water is to refresh the water to give your fishes clean and oxygenated water for them to thrive so what we try to achieve here is that we channel the pond water through series of filters one a mechanical filter secondly a chemical filter and then thirdly a biological filter this process is called the nitrification process and this is a recirculating aquaculture system shortly known as RAS system so the pond water the dirty pond water is channeled through uh, this first filter which is our mechanical filter to remove all the physical debt the mechanical debt are uh, the uh, dissolved solids the suspended solids come here it settles at the bottom so after filtering at this particular chamber, we move to the next chamber. But what do we do to this chamber? This chamber is called a radial flow settler, meaning all debt that moves to this particular pond, the heavy debt is going to settle at the bottom, and then the clean water or semi-clean water moves to the next chamber for next filtration system. So when you are filtering your pond water, you need to afford mechanical filtration biological filtration as well so this is a mechanical filtration what do you do to uh, maintain this uh, particular chamber what you have to do is uh, occasionally come maybe three days one week depending on your availability turn this valve up, open this valve and then the dirty water that settles at the bottom flows out this is the only maintenance you perform on this particular chamber then the clean water moves to the next chamber that is this particular chamber this is where we do our nitrification process. This is where we afford or start our nitrification process. Someone may ask what is nitrification process. Nitrification process is the process of converting ammonia to nitrite and further to nitrate. So what we do here is to channel the water from the first chamber to this second chamber. This ch second chamber also holds filtration uh, uh, equipment, filters, biofilters here. We afford also a slight mechanical filtration here, but the main purpose of this filter is to filter out the biological waste, that is, um, convert the ammonia to nitrite. What we do is to introduce our bacterials before nitrification process can occur. I have a video on um, explaining nitrification process. So uh, before nitrification process can occur, you have to introduce bacterials. Bacterials are not chemicals, they are live, they are blend of live organisms that we introduce in our pond to help break down waste. Just as in your yogurt that you take in, yummy yogurt, all that, it has some form of bacterials in it that helps you to convert your feed into something beneficial. So the bacteria you know, that we introduce in our system is called the Nutrisomonas and then Nutrobacter. The Nutrisomonas being the bacteria that convert ammonia to nitrite and the nitrobacter being the bacteria to convert ni 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 nitrite to nitrate. After this particular filtration, it moves to our last chamber where the clean and safe water will also return to our ponds through this pipe. This whole setup 
is being run by a hundred watt uh, aerator, which can be reduced per customer demand. The consumption can be reduced. We can uh, provide you with a 50 watt aerator, which will work perfectly. But the more the aeration, the better the filtration system is. Someone will tend to argue that this system will consume electricity and all that. You know my background as an electrical engineer, I make sure that every system that I build can be beneficial to the customer, not cause the customer more uh, utility bills. So come along as I show you what we use. The only thing we use, this pump is about 35 watt pump. That is one light bulb, equivalent to the consumption of one light bulb or even lesser than one light bulb. It's used to run or recycle the entire system. The only additional um, uh, uh, energy demand here is a uh, aerator. Please come along and show you. So this is a mini setup for aeration. Please come this side. Yeah. This is a, an aerator. This is 100 watt Rison aerator that produces 100 um, um, 140 liters oxygen per minute. So we can calculate the oxygen demand of your fish, the capacity of um, uh, the stocking capacity of your pond, and then size the aerator to fit the oxygen demand of your stock. I won't talk much about this uh, particular setup because there are a lot uh, that we are going to discuss in our subsequent video. But if you are interested in a setup like this, kindly call Jack Down Farms. Let us deliver. Let us help you to avoid the excess water change, the stress that comes in uh, changing water. Someone will ask. Will this system work in an area where there is no electricity? Yes, of course, we got you covered. We have solar or DC pumps that we use. That means if you have, if you are any part of the country where there is no electricity, we can also provide you with a solar powered system, which will help you to eliminate the uh, consumption, the little consumption that this setup comes with. So kindly hit us up. Hit us up, let us help you. Have a nice day.